Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a garbage disposal system um, with redstone. And I know you could just fill a cauldron with lava and then burn your stuff, but this will make you look like a redstone, uh, make you look like you're good at redstone. Not saying that you aren't, but uh, here's how this works. Uh, grab two garbage blocks um then with the cauldron you just throw it in and it travels down here and burns into the lava but i picked it up because i got too close and then this one you put the dirt in and as long as you have it open in case you accidentally put i don't know like your netherite pickaxe in there you're just like oh crap then you could leave it open and grab it so it doesn't burn. That's a stupid question or answer because netherite pickaxes don't burn, but still. But when you exit, then the items will flow through and get burned. Now, this is how I'm going to start with the cauldron. Then I'll um, do the one with the chest. What you're going to need is a cauldron, eight hoppers, a dropper, a lava bucket, 11 pieces of redstone, 4 redstone repeaters, 2 redstone comparators, and a diamond shovel. Then, you're going to go to your area that you like, uh, and want to put your, um, stuff, and then place a cauldron right here. Mine 2 blocks in front of that cauldron, and the block under the cauldron. Then, on the back side of the cauldron, you're going to mine... Uh, seven blocks forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're going to mine two blocks forward and place your dropper here and your lava bucket on the uh, block you're standing on. Then you're going to place hoppers all the way back. This is why I have a pickaxe. All the way back to where it was. No, now it's in here. Uh, to where it was under the cauldron. This can be tricky, uh, because you have to get the blocks to line up. Then, you're going to mine one, two, three, four, five blocks in whatever direction you want, either left or right of the cauldron, I meant a hopper that is uh, three, two down from the dropper. Then you're going to place a redstone comparator, then four redstone repeaters with full ticks. Then you're going to play, uh, mine out two blocks, redstone here, redstone comparator, and turn that on. Then you're going to mine three blocks around the redstone um, comparator and uh, fill those with redstone dust then you're going to mine one block out and then mine your way back to the dropper and then you're done so this is what should happen when you're at your dropper or cauldron or whatever you should like cover this up so no one sees it and this is like your wall and you could throw item oh i missed you could like you might want to put a trap door here all right i give myself a trap door because then when you throw items against the wall it will fall into the cauldron and the cauldron actually looks like a trash bag and you might want to put like more hoppers it doesn't matter the amount of hoppers, but you might want to put them a lot of hoppers and make this far away because it is quite noisy. But there you go, and then you could close it when you're done. And now onto the trap, uh, onto the chest one. Now you need to 
have a trapped chest for this to work so that the items don't like automatically go through like let's say you throw your god diamond sword in there then you're just like oh no now it's gone forever well that's why you need one to two trap chest then eight hoppers a dropper a lava bucket 11 redstone four redstone repeaters two redstone comparators and a diamond or whatever shovel you want then you go a reasonable distance away or wherever you want to put it and place your one or two then on the one or two that you have, you're going to mine two blocks in front of it and one block under it. And you could fill in these blocks later. And then you're going to mine seven this direction. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then mine two blocks out. And then place your dropper and your lava. And then place your eight hoppers. And then go over to this hopper and mine uh, five blocks this way. And one and uh, place a comparator and then four repeaters set to four ticks. Then you're going to mine two blocks and then three blocks like this. And then place your comparator and turn it on. And then redstone, like that. I meant like, and then you're going to fill this in, and then make like a triangle thing right here. Looks like a heart if you fill the block in here. And then fill this all up with a redstone, and make it go all the way down to the dropper. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, and then you're going to fill this up with redstone. And now, you could like cover all this up, it doesn't really matter. It is a fully functional garbage disposal. And let's say you accidentally put like, oh my gosh, no, my diamond shovel. And then you remember. And it will only start to deposit once it's closed. Uh, so then you could just grab your stuff back, and then, unlike that one over there, so it won't dispose. The only downside about this is that you have to open the chest, but you can indeed put more items in here without your world lagging, so that's good. Anyways, that's all for this episode. Hope y'all liked it, because uh, I just thought of this randomly while I was watching YouTube. So, um, keep safe, keep warm. And, uh, have a good day. Hey guys, uh, this is me after editing the video. And I just realized I never told you why you needed to, uh, use a, a dropper instead of a dispenser. So let me go into game mode 1 real quick. Okay, so... These are the two blocks. Now let's say you want to burn, I don't know, wood for some reason. Then either of these will work. Because you're dispensing and dropping it into lava. But what won't work is if you want to dispense or drop water into lava because if you don't know a dispenser dispenses water therefore it will turn the water into lava and then next time you try to use it it will just dispense and undispense water and then all of your blocks will be cluttered here and it will be a huge mess but with a dispenser it will dispense the bucket of water into the lava instead of just placing it so that's why you need a dispenser, not a dropper.